Hi guys, welcome to the first official kind of vlog for the Snowcat prints, which means we are closing in on a uh, Kickstarter and um, doing the actual drawing and the project. So if you've been following me for longer than a year, you remember that last year, last summer, I started the studio vlogs for Greylix when I was doing that project and I was pretty much filming everything so that you guys could see the process of making a book and getting it to to a book. <laughs> oh my god, it's been a while since I've done this, so it's gonna it's gonna take a bit of practice before I feel like I'm comfortable with this, but we'll get there. So I thought I will show you guys the things that I have been working on with the snowcap prints because I've been do doing some designing and some changes that um has happened in the last month or so because I've been writing this story and I've been also streaming a lot more which means that I have had some time to design a little bit more of the socket prints so I will um, try and switch my hand because it's hard to hold the camera and uh, yeah I'll show you that um, so it's Monday morning today uh, it is the 18th of February which me <laughs> which feels really weird like I would I originally wanted the Snoka prints to be already like done by now uh, and at least the Kickstarter up and running but um, I've gotten some freelance work and I got some other things to do so it's kind of been a little bit crowded and also also wait I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna just put this camera down and I'm gonna tell you Okay, I think that's fine. So, the thing that's happened is that the Snowcat Prince has gone from being a children's book like Grey Legs to an actual uh, short novel comic? Why? Graphic novel, that's what it's called. Uh, and it's probably gonna be about 70 pages long if I can squeeze it into that. Um, I need to sit and sketch out the whole thing before I can actually say, but it does seem like it is going to be a lot longer. And it's also a comic, which means uh, more work. But also, I have come to the realization that I probably am better at telling stories through comics than I am children's book uh, illustrations. I just seem to like it more, personally, I think, hopefully. <laughs> It's just easier to tell a story with lots of different pictures instead of text and pictures or one picture on one page. So that's what's happening and I'm going to show you guys some of the designs that's happened. Uh, I also got a new computer which I think I mentioned in the, the previous videos but we'll see. And I don't know how well these vlogs are going to go, hopefully they'll be alright. I don't know if people are going to like them or that people are going to hate them. Um, they are different from my usual videos, like draw with me or design videos. I do want to try and get some normal videos in here and there, but um, mostly it will be Snowcat Prints related because I need to focus on that. Uh, making a video for YouTube and filming it does take a lot of energy and time. So if I can not have to think about another video idea and I can just do Snowcat Prints, that will be for the better. So I'm going to show you guys this stuff. Okay, so here are the designs I did for the Snowcat prints. Um, so I don't know if I've said, but it's now seven princes. I think maybe I've said this before. But I designed all the brothers because uh, it was kind of hilarious trying to use different shapes and different like characteristics for the, the princes. And you can see our little main prince down here. Uh, a little bit sad, uh, tiny guy. And I think I put like a human in here just to show how high tall they would be. So this is about... A normal human height here and then you can see that this guy is like twice twice the size of normal human uh, which is which is cool but yeah no they they look similar but different and I find that extremely fun and then I did draw Kit again uh, I do prefer her as the way I drew her um, in the in the let's draw draw with me video yeah I can talk today and then I drew our snow cat which is pretty much how it's gonna look in the comic I think uh, I'm pretty happy with how how that's turned out for the city uh, the snow cat city this is um, some houses that I I sketched out yeah, it's a bit interesting like architecture it, it's based on 
the uh, yurts of Mongolian people just because that's interesting to me and also they have this giant um, like a wood burning fire un underneath all the houses so it's always kind of warm that's a chest for a um, costume or the clothes that they wear there and then this is the kingdom on their mountain there you go it's, it's just a sketch but it's um, it does tell tell you guys where they live and what's what's up with these people <laughs> so yeah now that's um oh you know i did do some more did some foxes as well i actually did kit's new fox form it's a lot cuter um it works a lot better with her design um instead of looking too old she looks young there and this will be the older um older foxes the when they're fully grown and i have some fun ideas where they kind of are a bit deformed and i think that's hilarious um i won't tell you why yet because uh it, it's kind of interesting but it does have to do with them shape-shifting oh my god focus so i want to say that if you're watching this vlog it is not a vlog where you would just watch. I think, uh, please do something <laughs> while you're listening to me. I personally love uh, watching and listening to studio vlogs. So, um, yeah. I just like having it on in the background and see what other people are doing. But yeah, I got a new computer. As you guys can see, it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, that's my tablet and that's my computer and that's a coffee. And I really haven't shown you guys my new setup for my studio, but I really like it. It's, 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 it's good. It's very good. So, on the agenda for today, um, or at least, okay, wait. The plan for this week is to have the text completely finished. I am using my dad as a test subject. He is a director, so he knows how to write a story. So I'm kind of using him <laughs> to, um, give him the text and he comes back with like this doesn't work this doesn't work this doesn't work and this works so uh it's really helpful so i probably will have another call with him tomorrow uh and that's why i need to finish the text today uh just just to clean it up like everything is there it just needs to be cleaned up quite a lot because i my writing is messy luckily a lot of the text is not going to show on the page so i'm happy about that Anyway, I do have some um, pages as well, but I will show that later in the vlog. Uh, right now, I do need to get writing because I need to do that. And also, I need to send a mail to a freelance uh, client that I had because they need to accept or see at least see my uh, invoices so I get paid. <laughs> that is the life of a freelancer. Anyway, I'm going to get writing because it is time to finish writing this story so I can start drawing it. Yes. I'm actually surprised over how much I have actually done for the Snowcat prints that I haven't shown you guys. Just because I haven't I haven't gotten to do do a video about it. But yeah. to get this done. Only problem is at 2.30 I have an appointment with an ortho, oh, like osteopath. I'm just gonna try and, and fix my shoulder. My left shoulder is being weird because I do pole dancing and I think I messed it up at some point and I haven't been there for a, one, a week and a half and I'm so annoyed at not being able to do exercise. So hopefully, uh, this will be the second time I'm going to her, so hopefully she can fix it and I can go do some exercise because I need it. But I need to get some text done before I go. That's just, this is my goal for this morning. And then I think I'm coming back and then I'll do more. This is what I look like when I write. I just start playing with my hair and I try to cut bangs. So they're just, everything's looking, looking, looking a bit messy, as you could say. So. It's now uh, 1.30 almost, and I have an appointment with my osteopath at 2.30, which is an hour, so I will take an Uber there, because I don't want to bike anywhere, because it's windy. And yeah, I've been writing since then, and I'm, I'm really cleaning up the script. Like, I've turned it into script now. Before this, it was just like rambles and kind of cutting here and 
branding different there and it's just a little bit everywhere but I'm really trying to focus and, and uh, create a cohesive script so that it looks clean and everything's just thought out and we're all good um, so yeah I did I cleaned up the prologue which is really fun and then I have cleaned up the chapter one so it's called chapter one the seven princes which is fun uh, but it in includes a lot of different uh, lines from different characters and it's a whole thing but for me right now it's it's like it's it's connected and now I just need to do the other six chapters and will be golden like I said during it yes so now since I'm almost at the time where I need to go 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 I am going to <laughs> have a shower just to be a bit clean <laughs> And then, um, I did shower earlier today, I just have a thing where I shower multiple times a day and it's really weird, I know, I should don't comment on it. Anyway, uh, I also need to package some orders because over the weekend I've got four different orders for books in my store. And I need to do that. So, uh, I'm gonna get both of those things done before 2 o'clock and then I'm gonna get myself an Uber. I'm gonna go outside for the first time in three days. And I'll come back and write some more. morning it's now Tuesday I think the last thing you saw was me uh, filming a little bit up the river outside of the osteopath place um, I got my thing there and they poked needles in me and it was scary I don't like that at all <laughs> it's very freaky to me like I don't have any problem with needles but it does freak me out because they poke a needle sorry if you're really bad with needles but they poke one in into your muscle and you feel it another place and it's kind of like sore-ish. I don't like it. I don't like it. But maybe it'll help. I think maybe it helped a little bit. Anyway, last night I didn't film anything because I came home and I was super, super, super tired and I just continued to write. Um, and I wrote until 12, which is unusual for me because usually I am dead around 10. Like that then I can't do any more work and usually I don't really like to work after dinner because um, I like to break but I was like I need to finish this manuscript or the text and I actually did um, the only thing that I have left is the tiny bit at the end which is actual text that's going to show on the page everything else is kind of like a manuscript so the only thing that's going to show is the, the um, speech bubbles I guess so I just have the last little bit which is like a, a wrap up, a summary of what happens and, and stuff like that. So I just need to do that. I'm going to go through it again and just make sure it's golden. Uh, but I was looking through the old manuscript, all the old text that I did. Um, and I can see it's so messy and I'm so happy that I actually took the time to sit down and write it properly. And when you write like a manuscript way, it, it changes quite a lot because when you're doing a novel the kind of all the text is going to show to the reader so it's it that is more you have to be more precise and, and, and cleaner with how you write but when you're going to do a comic most of what you're writing is not going to show on the page it's just information for you to to draw so when I did the manuscript way, instead of the, the horrible messy way that I did before, it went from what? Six pages to 22. So, we have 22 pages of text. Well, it's, it's just all the spaces between all the, the lines and stuff is quite uh, big. So, I don't know, I'm rambling and I look like a mess, but that's alright. Look at my plant, he's still alive. It's quite impressive actually, because I, I tend to kill plants, but it's actually, yeah. It's a sturdy plant. I water it now and again, 
and it, it works and um i got a coffee it says happy camper and uh since i was up so late yesterday it's currently 10 and i'm playing a little bit of animal crossing while i'm watching some vlogs uh and i'm just pretty much chilling out a little bit uh but i know i need to, to finish writing so i can send my uh, text over to my dad so he can give me feedback i suppose another thing that's happening today is that a new drawing tablet is arriving uh i'm doing another view for xp pen because i really want to see how how their bigger tablets work because i've used um like 22 HD um, Cintiqs for work before, like a lot, so I know how they work. So I was very curious to see how their the XP pen compares to the C Cintiq one. So they were like, yeah, we'll send you over all that, it's arriving today! <laughs> uh, my room is like, there's no space for anything else. Excuse the mess, but there's like, like, I need this space. That desk is just filled up and I need to clean. I don't want to clean. Eh, it's gonna be a whole thing. Um, this side as well is all messy, but... Oh well. I am um, going to finish my coffee, finish this vlog I'm watching. It's Tricky Wagon if you haven't seen it before. It's really good. I watched some, um, I watched some catnip as well. And my friend, the average artist, she posted a vlog of her trip to Singapore. And I was in Singapore for years, so I had like major like missing it feels uh, but yeah i'm gonna do that and then i'm gonna finish writing it and then i'm probably gonna sketch some more pictures actually 20 percent of my original order oh well. okay here is a new key charm with the gold Okay, I finished my uh, my coffee and I'm gonna go back to writing and finish writing the the script. I'm calling it a script now because that works a lot better than text, I don't know. So um, just to like explain what I've done, this is just examples of Google uh, for movie scripts. Like I looked at comic strip, uh, like comic scripts as well, I can't talk, that was a weird sentence. Um, and they are quite different because they include panels and um, honestly I don't think in panels I think in movie style uh, even though I kind of make it into a um, a comic so well I was looking at the, these here so this is pretty cool like um, normal texts are like up here I'll show with my finger because you can't see the mouse so this is like normal text well what are happening what what are people doing um the scene in general what's a mood everything that I need to remember to put into the page then you have the name of the character who's saying something and this is what they're saying then in brackets you have some extra text or feeling or something that you want the character to do just like if you remember something that you want um to be in there. Um, I've actually not put the name this way, I put it for them. Actually I'll show you guys. Um, so I'll show you guys the prologue and stuff, you probably can pause it and read it, but uh, don't do that. <laughs> so here's the first scene with like text and you can see like here's the name of one of the brothers and then here's what he's saying, here's something like extra and here's more that he's saying. So it's it's yeah, 24 pages <laughs> at this point, and I'm just going to finish writing it, but oh, that's fun. And I thought I would show you guys the thumbnails for the first chapter, or at least what I've had so far. Um, the prologue ones are not going to change. These are pretty much exactly how I want them to be, even though the text has changed slightly. I started sketching these last week when I thought I had the manuscript done, 
uh, or was pretty close to finishing and then my dad came back with critiques and I was like okay I'm gonna change it uh, but a lot of these are how they are supposed to be so let me show you here here's the first chapter so these are 10 pages I don't know if it's still 10 pages pages or less or more I have no idea but anyway the these ones are going to change um, and these two down, well, no, that one and that one's probably the same. But these ones in the middle here is going to change. But yeah, I've uh, had a lot of fun sketching these out, trying to to figure out how to tell the story in pictures, and I absolutely love it. I love telling stories in comics, comic form. Um, so I need to change these, but then I also need to sketch all the other chapters, and I'm very excited to see how many pages I actually have to do, um, because now I'm so close to kind of finishing the groundwork and I can start drawing the actual pages and figuring out the style even though I'm pretty sure what kind of style I want so anyway this is what's happening uh, I'm gonna finish writing the text now and then I will send them off to my dad and do some more sketches for myself probably testing out the new Cintiq that's coming pretty soon <laughs> all right uh, it's 11. I just finished writing the text and I sent it up to my dad and I'm pretty happy with it. I also managed to separate the chapters better because they were kind of weird earlier. Like I wanted seven chapters because um, So Cat, which is now, now named Siv, is um, the seventh son, the seventh brother, so I thought it would be cool with seven chapters and I managed to split it up into nice bite-sized chapters, so I'm happy. Anyway, uh, I don't quite know what to do right now. I think I might take a shower and put some makeup on just to feel a bit better. And then um, probably start sketching, at least sketching the, the ideas that I have in my head, which is going to be interesting. So I will be filming that so that you guys can see it in the kind of like a montage, montage kind of thing. Yeah, I'll see you then. I got the tablet! Yay! I want to open it just with you guys, but I need to do the unboxing by myself. But I kind of want to open it just a little bit. Here. <laughs> Ta-da! I'm excited. She's really big. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> this vlog is so random. I know it's supposed to be a Snowcat Prince vlog, but... I just finished writing the whole text and I like it. So, I should be able to do what I want to do. <laughs> Alright, so this is what, this is nice. I put on some makeup, my bangs look nice, uh, but <laughs> I cleaned the, the studio a tiny, tiny bit. Um, it's still messy to maybe some people's standards, but to me this is slightly organized, which is nice. So I'll just show you guys around, because I don't think I've shown you, I think I actually, I filmed, uh, I think I keep looking at myself, sorry. Um, I think I filmed this studio tour at some point but I felt that it was too cringy so I didn't post it but I thought I'll just show you guys really quickly what what, what what where I work speech talk yes so just getting a swoop of the room this is what it looks like at the moment I'm supposed to clean this desk this is actually makeup <sighs> because I've dressed up during Christmas, I just haven't cleaned it. It's really hard to clean off. I uh, might just leave it. <laughs> but uh, here we have a shelf system with lots of stuff. That's uh, my case with wool for needle felting. That's a case for everything else that I make things with. That's a stack of paper and all this things that I don't need. That's a watercolor paper stack. There's more watercolor paper there. Scanner. Some originals, mostly originals, some postcards, some sketchbooks, blah blah blah. Uh, I love these. Uh, I feel like I need something else on the wall, but they're really, really cool. That's my projects that I want to do. Fairy Lakes is ticked off. Snowcat Prince is next. And then I have 
Uh, there are dragons in the tree. I think I'm gonna switch it with the, the house between the bridges though. But I don't know. I have a lot of ideas for books, so, you know. Uh, this is the chair I used to use. Uh, it's really old. But I use this though when I just want to be comfortable. But when I work, I use that one, which makes me sit a lot straighter, which is great. Then I have my bookshelf here. Uh, lots of different books that I love. I try not to buy too many books because it just gets busy. Microphone, iPad, oh, I said scanner. Uh, computer screen, oh, okay, bye. Computer screen. A small XP pen, a computer down there, lots of other electronic things behind there. That's my window shelf. It's the outside. That's a mirror that I just like having there. It just feels nice. Uh, watercolor stuff. Watercolor stuff. Lots of supplies and random stuff in that trolley. My plant, which is still alive, amazingly. Watercolor paints. Washer tape. Tripod. Desk. That I like doing art and craft on because it's nice and white. Uh, that one used to hang over there but the glue let go so I need to hang up another hook. Uh, but these are all originals that are mostly mine I think. Yes it is. Except for this one which is a signed print. Uh, got some Joyson original, Joyson original. Nice. What is it? I'll put his name here. Uh, same for that one, and I feel like I have more, <laughs> and it's not perfect, BRB making tea, I didn't know they were there, but yeah, no that's, uh, and then this one, this is a shelf that I bought from Tiger, I thought it was really cute, so I have some stuff in there. Anyway, that's where I work, uh, right now, I am going to open the giant XP pen, and uh, that's why I kind of did my makeup, so that I can do the unboxing and start playing around with it. And probably stream it, because I feel like streaming. And my dad hasn't replied, so. Snowcat prints on hold, XP pin next. But yeah, that was a really compressed studio tour. I could probably do a better one if you guys are curious. I am full-time freelance now, I'm kind of getting the hang of things. Um, I still wish that I had a studio space, because I'm kind of worried about having this giant uh, drawing monitor. Monitor? tablet because it's giant and I don't know where to put it <laughs> but here we are okay so this is for the vlog <laughs> you guys are a bit low but I just set up the well I tried to set up the XP pan and it turns out I need some adapters and also some longer extension cables yeah She's a bit annoying, so I guess I'll need to go somewhere to get that. Buh. And what I was afraid of with the screen size and everything, it's a... <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna show you my desk now. Now, okay, the problem here is that usually I would like this space to be where I do my watercolor art. And I do need a space if I'm gonna... Um, if I'm gonna stream... See, it's focusing. It's so shiny. One thing that I am not saying, I'm going to mention this in the video as well. This is like a normal screen. Like, I don't really want to touch it because it's just really slippery. Well, this has a paper texture, which is nice. So, I'm curious about that. Look how shiny it is. It's like a mirror. Hello. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it's kind of taking up my whole desk at the moment. Focus there. Thank you. And um, hmm, hmm, I need to figure out how to set this up properly because I need to be able to move that back and forth while I work on that. I guess the solution would be to move my whole computer setup to that corner and then have watercolor on one side and then that giant thing on that table. But that's a whole thing, so. And I kind of like it in the corner there. Oh wow, it's, I need to set up the, <laughs> some things. So my boyfriend just told me I can just unplug the other one that I have and use the HMI cable instead of the, v... the VGA because I need a VGA to DV... DVI adapter to use that one. Um, and I only have that left on the computer bit, like I can only connect one more. But for now I'll just disconnect that tablet and use that one.
Oh my god, it's so big! Okay, let's open Critter. My boyfriend doesn't believe that it comes with a VGA, so... I don't like it. I don't like glassy. Currently streaming with people. I'm gonna test out the tablets. Found oh, it. Good. Do you know please do a sketchbook tour at some point? I don't keep a sketchbook though. There's a problem here. <laughs> the thing is like I don't use usually actually use a sketchbook. I started using a bit more now. As I'm doing a project, like so at prints, but honestly, like I don't, I don't do much. Is this supposed to be? Good morning. It's now the next day. I don't think I talked much yesterday, except for getting the tablet. The moment I got the my new twenty two here, uh, I just started drawing and I started streaming and I tried. For like slightly vlogging when I was streaming and that didn't quite work um, but it was a lot of fun um, it's fun because the streaming thing is it's slowly building so I'm actually like getting more like viewers than I thought I would so that's really cool anyway I am not going to be able to talk to my dad until tomorrow he's gonna read through the script and figure out if uh, there's any more plot holes that I need to fill for the story but I thought I would, since I have this wonderful new tablet, I'll just continue working on it today and um, sketch the chapters. See if I can manage to sketch all of them. That will be the goal for today. Uh, it's already 12, almost 12.30, which is a bit late, but I thought, well, I can just do it anyway. Um, I have signed up for a poll class today, and I am going, but... Um, and mostly because I have this pass that I feel like I need to use, so I'm going to try that and do some exercise. But yeah, uh, that's what's happening. Oh, do you want to see what I did? <laughs> this uh, this drawing is gonna come out next week, I think. So you're gonna get this vlog on Friday. It's Wednesday today, and uh, this drawing is probably gonna come out on Monday. Depending on when I manage to edit it, but I am pretty damn happy with it. That's why I'm going to show you it. So I'm, I've been pretty into like making mock covers just because I find it really fun. Uh, like mock comic covers like I did for the 10 year challenge. Uh, but I'm doing it for this one as well. Um, it's for, like, I wanted to do this comic, a short comic a while back and I never actually did it. But I had this cover in my head. And I thought, well, this is cool, I'll do it, it has lots of cool effects, and I'll do it for a video slash a review, and, and that's what's happening here. And uh, yeah, I was streaming the whole thing, it was so much fun, I, I just really nice screen. <laughs> I've got, uh, like, I know I talked about the glasses surface, and it's actually growing on me, it's so strange that I like it now, I just have to wear my glove, and I'm okay, but... I love it. I actually I actually love it now. I'm so happy to have a big screen again. It's been so long since I had a, a actual big Cintiq. And now, well, Cintiq is a screen monitor tablet. Uh, since I, I quit my job, then I had one there. But I, I didn't have the money to buy one for myself. Especially the big, like, Wacom ones. Because the Wacom ones are, like, £1,500 or something. And that's equivalent to this, which is, like, 500 or £400. Pounds, so... And I got this for free, so we're good. Nice. Very reflective, so I probably will get a screen protector, but um, I'm reviewing it without it, and I'm actually liking it, so it's fine. Anyway, there should be a design video somewhere back in the videos where I actually design this character. Um, that's what's happening. I'm gonna go and get some breakfast. And then I'm going to do the sketching of the pages. I will put that in here as well so you guys can see some. 
some progress. Something I'm not liking though is that I'm feeling a bit throaty, like you know when you're about to get sick, and that's not good. But hopefully it'll be alright. And uh, I also booked a physio appointment for tomorrow. I went to the osteopath the last two times, but I don't think like I need something to do to make it better, and not just sit still. That's not gonna help for me. Um. So yeah, I'm um going there tomorrow. Hopefully they can solve the issue if you want to see more of me of course just go to my twitch channel because i'm i am streaming three times a week now um including a weekend so you guys can actually join but um it's good i've been watching joy sun's vlog uh, she's doing graphic novels i i am back to being her patreon i had a little break where i couldn't really afford it but at the same time it's only like six pounds so i'm like yeah you can do it <laughs> so i'm back to being a patreon and i'm following her comic project and i'm kind of like excited that i'm making a comic at the same time as her so we're gonna like kind of making it at the same time i don't know it's it's inspirational it pushes me to do the comic as well like snowcat prince is a comic now so i'm just gonna refer to it as a comic but it's um it's fun if you haven't checked out Joy Sun, go check her out. If you like vlogs, if you like processes, if you like seeing how like other people, other artists live and like schedule their days, I guess, go check out Joy Sun. I'll put her link here and down below so that you can find her because I've been following her for over a year now, I think. Quite a while and I absolutely love her. So, go do that. Anyway, I'm gonna get food. I'm gonna go to the cafe and get some scones and I'm excited. five I need to get going I'm going to go to a pole lesson or slash flex lesson and I don't really want to flex like you know uh, get more flexible but uh, I think it'll be good for me because I need to get out of the house I did a little bit of sketching you saw some of it uh, I still have a few well quite a lot of pages to do and I'm going to continue when I come home and then I'll show you guys because uh, Gotta split this up a little bit, but yeah, uh, my freelance client also came back, which me, which is which is really good, but also it takes time, so I'll have to schedule my week better next week for for that. But yeah, I'm gonna go and do some exercise. And uh, it's Thursday, <laughs> so I didn't actually do anything last night. I came home from Paul around nine so that was pretty much really late and we had dinner really late and i just went to bed and didn't care for drawing anymore <laughs> i just watched some dragon prince season two because i i followed the season one and i'm excited for season two so i did that and then um yeah it's morning it's 10 i started working like an hour ago well, working as in i have my coffee watching vlogs and trying to sketch but uh this is what i'm gonna do today i'm really gonna finish this i have actually a freelance meeting at seven which is late but i also have a physio appointment at 1 30 and then i'm gonna have a call with my dad in an hour or two i think uh so he can <laughs> yell at me and tell me how horrible my script is that's uh that's the goal for today
Ja. Alternativt så kan uh, det er bare ut og bytte av kort, altså. <laughs> jeg lurer på om det jeg kommer til å gjøre er at i stedet for at dette at det store skjer, at det er et stort crack, eller mye som skjer, jeg kanskje bygger det opp litt mer, at... Ok, og det som det tragiske er faktisk at Willy Shida ville neppe hatt mulighet til å drepe bjørn hvis den fortsatt hadde vært ond, men det er ja. for det skjer. Det er en veldig fin, veldig fin løsning. Ja. Det, alle synes det er tegnet etter det. Ja. <laughs> so I just finished a call with my dad which is great uh, as always he always have things to point out and things that I didn't notice and things that are not natural and like you should shorten this um, line here and, and everything like that so it's really good because I'm excited to kind of clean it up now so I'm gonna go through that and uh, fix all the issues that didn't work with the story or what was left unexplained which is kind of annoying so we're going to fix that and then i'm going to sh actually not show him anything more until i've sketched all the pages because i know things are going to change for me i am a lot more of a visual person so i tell stories more naturally through pictures and comics than i do text so i know that when i start sketching the pages that things are going to change because it doesn't make sense so, that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm excited! Um, it's so close to being like finished and ready to just be drawn. Which is like, the easy part of creating a story is the drawing bit. The hard part is creating it, writing it, tweaking it to make sense. <laughs> but it's good. Um, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. It's Thursday. I'm supposed to end these vlogs on Wednesday, but honestly, like I didn't vlog in the evenings. We should have probably helped a little bit more than um, just leaving it as it did. But I'm going to go to my physio and everything. But I think I've had a good week of whoop, making it work, which is great. So, I keep saying so, I keep saying but, but I'm ready. I'm ready for it. I uh, talked more about it a little bit. So I'm gonna end this vlog with a little shout out, I don't know. So last week I did the monthly postcard for my patrons and we also did a kind of an art jam where they also created their own like drawings or images based on the same theme which was the woods are watching. So I'm gonna show that here now and I'm gonna do a little voiceover telling you who they are and that's a part of my patrons peeps they're amazing so i'm very excited to do that and i will end that this vlog with that and i will see you guys next week bye bye and here are the entries for the theme of february which was the woods are watching uh, this is going to be a postcard but i also opened for entries from my patrons to do their own version of the woods are watching and i got six entries and i'm going to show them all here i I'm just so happy that they wanted to join and their stuff is absolutely incredible. I put their social media handles on the, the image as well so you guys can go check them out and go give them a little love. Uh, I We haven't come up with a hashtag for the challenge yet but it is a, an art jam thing where my patrons kind of join in in the monthly challenge and I'll show it at in the video so just to promote them a little bit because they're absolutely incredible people who support me and my art so of course i'm going to support them and their art so that's what we're doing so thank you guys so much for entering i'm so ha excited for the next month's theme we have to figure that out and yeah i'll uh, i'll end it here thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys later Bye bye